thank you for joining me. Behind me here is my one of a kind XP Cube Camper, AKA the Dodge Mahal. And you know what? I've had this truck for a year and a half. I've driven it over 20,000 miles through three countries and I've never done a video just talking about the camper, how it's constructed, how much it weighs, yada, yada, yada. So that's what this video is for. I'm selling her as most of you know and she's about gone. Uh, buyer flies in in a couple days so gotta get these videos done for you. I really love this truck. Here's yeah. some details. Let's dive on in. Woo! Alrighty, so we'll start here on the driver's side and we'll head on around. As you can see, the camper has uh, little tiny little windows in it. As when we were in Canada, I gotta say this real quick. These people walked by and they were like, oh, look at that camper, it's so cute. Look at the, the tiny windows and the little compartments, eh? <laughs> Anyways, Dometic seats, uh, dual pane acrylic windows. Absolutely love acrylic windows. Um, I'll show you more on those when we go inside. But so this camper, this is an XP Cube Camper prototype. The only other uh, camper, Cube Camper, I should say, that XP made, they put on a Unimog and sold for a couple hundred grand. So it is made 100% out of fiberglass. Well, mainly. There's no wood or metal frame. Um, and there's really no wood or metal inside. Very, very minimal. So this camper was built in 2013, I believe. It debuted in the 2014 SEMA show. Um, Brian from Exploring Elements built this camper. Uh, it's been on this truck. He bought the truck with 56,000 miles. It's now got 192,000. So about 140,000 miles of adventure. And it's been an amazing camper. Um, on the back here, you'll see storage. Uh, I cut this storage down originally, it was not that low. Uh, and I'll show you when we go inside why I did that. Um, but it's got, you know, your standard outdoor shower here. Um, I made this little hatch here to put trash in. Jeez Louise, I'm getting a call. Oh shoot, it's my buddy. Oh man, I'll call you back here, bud. We're live on the tubes here. Is my voice still recording? Okay, we are. Anyways, uh, so we got a propane tank in here. And so I put this, I built this hatch in um, for trash. So when we went to Alaska, we were able to keep trash inside, but still have it kind of outside in, in a separate area. So that was really nice. On the back, you'll see real flashy on the back, which I love. Uh, you'll see the roto packs and the max tracks on the back there. And these are just kind of standard uh, trailer taillights and things um, for semi trucks and stuff. This is a cool bumper here, this aluminum bumper that can drop down um, and then it kicks up. So you got more clearance, of course. And then on the other side here is the door. We've got this awesome Dometic awning up here. Um, which I love. It's a legless awning, which has been very convenient. Uh, on the side here, there's two step options that you have really. Um, the most convenient and 90% of the time, the ones you're gonna use are just these bad boys. Um, this is an amazing step ladder I got on Amazon. I'll link below as well, because it's honestly perfect height, very tall, um, nice step ladder. So as you can see here, you've got not quite a half door, but not quite a full door either. Um, still really, really nice uh, size door. And then you got your window there. Again, another acrylic window. And let's walk on in here. So the thing I like about the ladder just kind of shoots you up in. Anyways, oh, this camper is awesome. Um, it's very spacious inside. Everyone that walks in immediately goes, whoa. Like, look at all this, there's so much stuff in here. And it's true. Um, the very unique thing about this camper is the dinette. So this table will swivel around 360, folds in half like so. And when you want a sleepy time, you just unclip these little guys and push it down. Just like that. And then you flip these out, you take these, Pads here. 
of this. And boom, you got a bed. Now, I like to have a little bit more padding, so I'd put a three inch topper on top of this. Um, but it's really, this camper is amazing in how it transforms. The top's up right now, but you can access everything with the top down, which is really cool. And you can just chill, chill in here. And you've got just this awesome view of the outside. Got your Dometic fridge over there. Next to the fridge, I put a Blackstone 17 inch griddle, uh, which on the new rig, I'm gonna be trying out the Camp Chef Versatop griddle. Um, reason being, that griddle system, it's a system, it's not just a griddle. You've also got an artisan pizza top oven you can put on top and a barbecue box attachment. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be testing that. I'm really excited to see what I think of that. Um, but check out the kitchen here. So again, dual zone Dometic fridge. You got the griddle up there. It's just high enough and far enough away to keep the heat away. Um, nice little drawer there, which you can just hook on there. Make sure it doesn't go bouncing around all crazy. And right here, I really love this feature. So this usually is clipped up. Um, then you can grab your clothes down here. And right here, I put in a slide out burner, which is awesome um, because again, that's a griddle. So nice to have a burner for coffee and boiling water, um, making pasta, things like that. So up here, I got this sink from Ikea actually. And I should explain when I first got the rig, the it was built all the way up to here with storage. Um, as you saw on the outside, the outdoor storage was a little bit taller. So we, we lost a little bit of storage, but it was totally worth it for this massive countertop that we epoxied this map in. This map is actually the original map from the truck. It's got the whole route, uh, the original route all through there, which is cool. And then again, this sink I got from Ikea for about 45 bucks. There's a little flip out table in case you need some extra room, but yeah, I love this. I love this cube. This cube is so awesome. We've got a hatch here, um, which if it's really bright, ah, you can just close it up. And yeah, I, I just, I just love this freaking thing. I'm honestly going to be really bummed to see it go, but I'm so excited about the new camper. Uh, so anyways, here are the Dometic windows. So again, you just push the button, boom, they open up, close up nicely. And uh, they've got, of course, privacy shades, which are amazing. Um, love having those. They've got the bug screens as well, but I just keep those down because they're kind of a pain sometimes. But uh, yeah, I love, 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 love this camper. Lived in it almost all year by myself with Coda and also with Ashley and her dog for a while. And this bed, um, at first it seemed a little bit tight. There's plenty of room for two people though. Ashley is pretty small though, so that was nice and I'm a big guy. Someone can be sleeping here, wake up in the morning, make your coffee over here. Um, you can even, you know, make food and do everything over here while someone is, you know, still sleeping here or working here when you got the table up. Um, you can fit, we fit about eight people inside of the rig. Uh, for a matter of like five, 10 minutes, not just to see how many we could fit in. We actually hung out for a second. That was a lot. Four people though can comfortably sit in here, eat around the table and have a conversation, maybe even five. Um, it's amazing. I love having such a big dinette and I've really not seen any other camper that's this uh, small as far as interior space with this big of a dinette. Um, and also a queen bed because it makes into it. So uh, the new camper is not going to have this. It's, I'll tell you that right now. It's not going to be like this. And I'm going to miss that in a sense. Uh, but there's pros and cons to everything, of course. How's my mic doing? Are we doing good on here? I want to make sure I get good audio for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways. Oh, solar. So the camper does have a 250 watt solar panel uh, up top, 125 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery with a 1000 watt 
uh, Xantrax sine wave inverter, um, and a 40 amp EPVer MPPT solar charge controller. Yes, I do know my solar because I put all that stuff in here. Um, I revamped the solar system completely with all new stuff and it's been working well. Uh, people always ask about a bathroom tube. This rig has a cassette toilet in here. So we just slide her on out and get our solar panel out of the way. So we just slide her on out and there we go. Just in case you gotta go, you got a cassette. So my feelings on toilet, having a toilet, whatever. Cassette toilet is good for emergencies and something, you know, where you're at an event or you just, you can't dig, go dig a hole outside because that's my preferred method. Um, so I really, I like having the cassette toilet just for that. Uh, and that's really all I need. I don't want a black tank. I don't want anything like that. I love the dry toilets as well. Um, anyways, blah, 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 toilets. What else is there to say? Oh, how much does this bad boy weigh? So uh, apparently, I've never had it off the truck because it's built onto the frame here. It weighs 1,289 pounds. Um, and this truck's fairly nimble with it on there, believe it or not. Uh, it's still, you know, a big old, big old gal, but yeah, she's, she's pretty nimble overall. We do have a Hellwig sway bar and overload assist springs down here uh to control that extra weight and that extra sway so that's been really nice the camper actually handles amazing and i attribute a lot of it to the icon suspension and the hellwig products that we got on here um i don't know what else there is to say other than i love this camper it does have xp uh, boxes here um so these storage boxes are nice and uh, what else will I say? Oh yeah, it does have a, it has a Wabasto dual top um, heater. That's for the air and the water. Um, so that's a diesel heater. So it's plumbed into the tank of the truck, uh, which is great because you never have to worry about propane or running out of uh, anything for your heater. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I don't know guys. I love the camper. I just love it. So one of the very defining features of this camper and what makes it really different is it's not a cab over. Reason being, you got a huge roof rack up here. So Brian, who built this truck, he built it, he's a big kayaker, and he built it so he could put four kayaks up there and two mountain bikes at once, which is pretty cool. And I've loved having the roof rack. Well, hey, thanks for watching another episode here. Be sure to hit that subscribe so you don't miss all the rest of them. Got a lot of uh, these Alaska series videos starting to ramp up. So I'm super stoked for that. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this old camper here. And the question I got for you, are you down to mob over some land? Heh <laughs> heh.